Hey football fans, welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got some breaking news from Fulham. Marco Silva, the head coach, has refused to confirm whether he'll be staying with the club next season. There's been a lot of uncertainty surrounding Silva and star striker Alexander Mitrovic, as they both received offers from Saudi Pro League club Silva, speaking during Fulham's preseason tour in the United States, admitted that he has received an offer, believed to be from Al Ali. However, he remained tight-lipped about his decision. He did mention that he has turned down offers in the past and emphasized his commitment to the club. But it's not just Silva who's causing concern at Fulham. Mitrovic, the star striker, is also facing issues. He's not been training properly with his teammates after rejecting two offers from Al Hilal. In fact, he won't even be playing in the upcoming preseason friendly against Fulham. On top of all of this, Fulham is yet to make any signings this summer. However, they are close to securing two defenders, Mohamed Salasu and Calvin Bassey, for a combined fee of £30 million. Salasu, from Southampton, is expected to cost more than £15 million, while Bassey, a Nigeria international, could be signed from Ajax for £18 million. When asked about his own future, Silva confirmed that he has an offer from another club but refused to discuss it further. He did mention that he's received official offers in the past and has always shown commitment to Fulham. But it's not just Silva's future, that's uncertain. Midfielder Joao Palhinha is also attracting interest from West Ham United and Liverpool. Silva expressed concern about the size of his squad, especially after the departure of seven players this summer. He admitted that the team is behind in their preparations for the new season and acknowledged the need for new signings to keep the fans happy. So, there you have it, folks. Fulham is facing a lot of uncertainty with Marco Silva's future, Mitrovic's situation, and the need for new signings. Stay tuned for more updates on this developing story. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for all the latest football news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.